today's episode we're going to be continuing with the Nissan. I actually got the uh, rebuild kit for the caliper so we should be doing that today. But I also want to update you on the uh, bumper. Just show you what happened with that. Bumper is all on. So looking pretty nice now. Still needs a good flattener polish which I'll get round to in the next couple of weeks or so. Much happy with that now. Once that's all flat and the orange peels out of it, it's going to look a lot nicer. I shall do that in another video. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to uh, rip the calipers off. I did the other one the last week, cleaned it all up. But, um, I noticed the um, rubber seals are all gone, so I've actually got a rebuild kit. So I'm going to whip these off and uh, replace all the seals on them. Make it a lot better. I couldn't get the pistons, but I should be able to clean the pistons up clean the rust off and polish them back up. I won't be able to clamp the uh, hoses like I usually do because these are the braided ones I don't want to damage these. Usually you can clamp them with a um, pair of mole grips and a bit of cardboard to stop them from leaking. So I'm just going to have to let that drip into a pot and uh, replace the brake fluid whenever you do it. Okay so I'll grab some tools and uh, we'll whip them off. Okay to take the calipers off it's dead easy. So 14 mil just there that pin pulls out and you can just pivot the actual uh, caliper up. But I want to take the carrier off as well which I believe is a couple of 17s which is that one there and there's one just down there and that should bring all the actual carrier off as well So I'm going to clean all this up like I did on the other side and clean all this uh, mounting up for the actual pads because you can see the pads aren't actually sitting flush so it's not getting even worse. It's fine on the back it's just on this front pad so I think there's probably corrosion around this um, mounting area here so I'm going to clean all this up like I did on the other side so they sit a lot nicer. Also I'm going to take off the actual braided line here from the uh, banjo bolt just from there and I'll let that drip into a pot just here and I'll do the same on the other side just click the uh, brake through so it doesn't go all over the floor. Okay so here on the bench this is the one I actually uh, cleaned up and painted last time it's not in bad condition I'm going to replace this rubber here clean this slider up a little bit, a wire brush on that, clean all that. But actually um, cleaned all this area up last time so the pads fit a lot nicer on this actual carrier. The main problem is, you can see there, is the actual main seal is split. So I'm going to pop the um, piston out in a second, probably use a bit of compressed air to push that out and then uh, I'll replace the seal, clean everything up, clean up all the actual sliders, probably clean all this up in here as well and paint all this while it's all apart. I've got new uh, rubber for this but I didn't get sliders but this one's not actually too bad. It's just where the actual where the rubber split there. This one here the other side that's jammed in there so I'm gonna have to try and get that out. Should be easy enough. You can see the pads are in there solid so they're not sitting correctly so I'm gonna have to get those out, clean all this actual carrier up paint it all, make it look nice again and again replace the actual rubber on this side. This one doesn't look too bad actually but I'm going to strip it all down anyway and replace it all. That slide is not too bad but the rubber again is old. So these are the original rubbers and sliders so they've not lasted too bad. It's 30 years old so, 33 years old. We'll give it all a good clean. Paint it all up, make it look nice. Okay so that's probably about an hour has gone by since um, the last little bit of video. So the actual slider, the main slider for in there, was completely seized in and the pin was uh, seized as well. So I had to take the actual dust cap off the top, soak it through with um, penetrating fluid and then knock it through with a um, old screwdriver and a hammer. So it's actually coming out. The pin's slightly bent. You can see that. So I'm going to see if I can straighten that out and retap it. If I can't, I'm going to see if I can source a new one of these. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get um, start up the compressor. I've got an old tyre valve, which I'm going to pop on there, hold it on there, pump some air through, and should hopefully push the piston out. So that worked pretty well, actually. I just use the uh, tyre inflating valve with the old tyre valve on the end. Pushed that as far as I could into the main hole and just gradually increased the pressure. I had a piece of wood here 
um, just to stop the piston from flying out and just generally just pushed it out which was cool, a lot easier than uh, struggling with the um, pliers etc. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the old seals, you can see they're actually shot to pieces, completely gone. Clean all this out, remove the square seal and wire brush it all, clean it up as much as I can. And then the pistons, which aren't actually too bad, I'm going to probably wire brush these and then polish them up on the uh, polishing wheel, get these as clean as possible. They should all clean up quite nicely. They're not in that bad condition, actually not scored. Just a little bit rusty, which is probably actually making them stick. So I'll get that all flat and nice. And then uh, I'll start rebuilding the calipers. Again, lots more rust. Here we go. The actual um, retaining spring was actually C solid in there, so I had to cut all the rubber off. And then now I've got to scrape all the uh, old rust out as best I can. Remove the um, square seal in a minute. Carefully remove that because I don't want to scratch the uh, face if I can. Let's see if I can get that out. It's all pretty crispy actually. There we go. So, right. So now I'm going to clean all this up. Get the wire brush on the drill. Clean as much of this off as I can. Clean all up in there. Get some uh, brake cleaning fluid on it. Get as clean and as polished as possible. And then I'm going to paint it before I rebuild it. I've also got sand in here as well. And in there as well where the rubber sits. Because it's all just completely solid. But they're in pretty good condition otherwise. They're going to make a nice refurb. They'll be like brand new again. Alright, I'm going to go and uh, take Woody for a walk. And uh, I'll probably finish this off in the morning. So I'll see you in a bit. This is Woody. He's our neighbour's dog. One of our best friends. Aren't you? Hey? Loopy Labrador. And Whiskey. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next morning, so what I'm going to do now is have a quick tidy round, sort all this mess out, get a nice clean work area, and then we'll start cleaning all these up with the wire brush on the drill. There we go, much nicer cleaner area to work in. I actually started um, wet flatting the actual piston as well, just a little bit of 800 wet and dry. So you look at the old piston there. And then the one I started to polish, you can just see the difference, it's just coming up quite nicely. It's actually taking all the uh, dirt and grime and corrosion away from there. Still a lot more work to do on this final edge here. There's a couple of little score marks I'm going to try and get out as well. The tiny ones there. But I think these pistons should clean up quite nicely. And then I give them a good polish with them. Um, some mother's metal polish. Just give them a nice sheen. Hopefully that should make them... Um, work a lot nicer than they were before I stopped them from sticking. Okay, so I'm going to start hitting the uh, rusty calipers with some wire brush and uh, see if I can get them as clean as possible. Probably a little bit of wet and dry in these slider areas as well. Get all clean as possible and then I'm going to give them a coat of paint. So that was a horrible dirty job. Most of the paint and rust is off. This needs a good clean with some decrease and probably some thinners. Then I'll give them all a good blowout with a compressor. Make sure all the dust and dirt is out of there. 
basically all I used was a combination of wire brushes and sanding discs etc just on the end of the drill just clean it up lovely got my new drill all dirty which is a bit disappointing but I suppose tools are to be used not to look at as for the pistons they polished up really nice I'm really happy with how these have come out still a little bit pitted on there but the actual rubber seal goes from there back anyway so that should be fine but I'm really happy how they've come out and the seal kit you get your centre slider rubber which goes through that one there I believe yep that one there and your other slider goes on that one very important square seal and then the new actual dust seal which goes on there with the retaining spring which are a pain in the arse to get in but we shall struggle with that later after paint there's the part number if anybody needs it this is for the Sunny ZX or GTI front brakes I've got these from Germany I'll see if I can find the link and I'll pop that below actually okay so now what I'm going to do is like I said I'm going to clean these over with some thinners blow all the uh, dust out give them a really good clean and then I'm going to start painting them I'm going to paint them with just a Halfords high temperature enamel paint it's an engine enamel so it should be pretty uh, hard wearing I've used this on the engine and there's no flake or anything on that so um, they should be fine I'm going to do all the insides as well not in here I'm going to clean all that up a little bit more with a little bit of wet and dry I think but all in here I'm going to paint make sure everything's covered try and keep the rust down as much as possible so that's the first coat of paint on doesn't look too bad actually it's going to need a couple of coats because you can still see some of the uh, actual metal through there it's quite a translucent paint actually so I'm just going to wait for that to dry do another coat then I flip them over do the main areas, the main faces let that dry and then we'll start building them up so there we go, all painted up look a lot nicer, I think you'll agree I've also done a little uh, Nissan logo on the front there you're probably not going to see it through the actual uh, wheels because my spokes are quite solid I think it's quite a nice little addition, it's quite nice I did it basically with a vinyl template and then I just sprayed some uh, paint over the top similar to how I did it in the uh, door sign video you can always go back and have a look at that see how that's done right, next step I'm going to clean out inside again make sure it's all nice and clean and free from dust and then we're going to start rebuilding with the uh, actual new seals ok so the first thing we've got to do is put in the let's, move that. let's put in the square seal and you'll be using the red rubber grease which is uh, specific for brakes I like to give it a good uh, good coating quite difficult doing this with the camera like so and then just slide that in into the seat I've wiped all this out make sure it's all clean first sure it's all square if you don't want it to pinch because then that's when you uh, your pistons start to leak there you go sits in there lovely nice and neat okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of grease around there next and I'm going to slide the piston in which is all nice and clean now polished up I'll be using my um, using my brake tool again it's time just to help slide it in here's one I did earlier, it's gone in quite nice the only actual problem I did find was the actual uh, dust cover clip which is quite big so it does actually overlap so I suppose you could trim it down a little bit but I've just left it so it's slightly overlapping but that should be fine ok so I'll get that done next and then uh, we'll do the side rubbers which grease up all the actual sliders pop those in and we're pretty much there, ready to go on. I've got new crush washers for the uh, banjo bolt there, and I've got stainless um, bleed nipples. I'm going to put a little bit of copper grease on there so they don't seize into the actual cast iron as well. 
Okay, so I'll crack on with that. And as soon as that's done, we'll give them a clean over. So I've got red grease all over me, nice white paint. And we'll whack them on the car. There we have it, all back together. All I've got to do now is put the uh, pads back in with the uh, locating clips, which I'm going to do that next. And then I'm going to get them back on the car. Quite an easy little job, really. Spend more time painting. I've chipped some of the paint off here, so I'm going to have to touch that in when it's actually on the car. I'll do that in a while. But I'm quite happy where they've come out, so I'm going to get the pads in now and get them back on the car. So there we are, all fitted. Looks a lot nicer. Should actually uh, work a lot better now have all the new seals and piston etc all cleaned up. So all I've got to do now is bleed the brakes. Which I'm going to have to get my wife to help me with that I think. Because I'm still on my own. I'm still in lockdown. But that should be quite an easy little job really. But while it's up in the air I think I'm going to clean up the... Um, the back brakes as well just to make sure they're all working efficiently and take the seals on those and if they need um, new seals I'll order some of those and get them done as well also a little update on the Celica finally got tyres fitted to the wheels are refurbed it's only been about a year so I'm going to get those on probably in the next video or so and see what they look like not nicer than the old ones also, um, a few people have been asking me. Uh, a few people have been asking me about the Carina and what's happening with that. But now the lockdown's eased, I should be able to get round to the lockup and uh, drag that round here and get the uh, brake sorted on that. I've got to replace all the rear brake line, I think, all the hard lines. Should be quite an easy job, just a long, messy job. So that will be coming up in another video. So uh, if you've liked this video, I know it's been uh, quite a mixed video, really. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.